<laughs> Elon Musk says he will donate six billion if the World Food Program proves to him that the amount would solve world hunger. <laughs> what the? F dude, that's awesome. That's awesome, dude. What an incredible take. What such a debate, Lord, dude. That's great. Okay, so <laughs> I do think this is a funny ass tweet. All right, so what is this? Fact check. 2% of Elon Musk's wealth is $6 billion. If in 2020, the UN World Food Program raised $8.4 billion. How come it didn't solve world hunger? 2% of Elon Musk's wealth could solve world hunger, says director of UN Food Scarcity Organization. If the World Food Program can describe this on Twitter, on this Twitter thread, exactly how $6 billion will solve world hunger, I will sell Tesla stock right now and do it. But it must be open source accounting so the public sees precisely how the money is spent. Okay. So... There's so much to say about this. Like, first of all, the thing that I find really funny always about these sorts of conversations is like, obviously it's not like, yeah, give me direct cash. Like give me $6 billion and then like we end world hunger. No, the largest problem with food shortages and famine and world hunger right now isn't necessarily that like poor people simply can't buy the food. It's the actual way in which we produce commodities. Food is a necessary, uh, is a necessary resource for survival, but because of the capitalist organization of the economy, food is created for profit by those who want to make profit by selling the food as a commodity, okay? But when that happens, we have a surplus of food here in the United States of America where we just dump it out because the alternative would be to actually give it away for free, which would then severely lower food prices, at which point, uh, it, you know, it would no longer be beneficial from a capitalist uh, commodity production perspective to make food, okay, to make necessary uh, items for survival because all of a sudden you're like, well, why am I making money? I can't make money doing food. I can't make money uh, in the agribusiness. I can't make money, which is heavily subsidized to begin with. So obviously that is the main problem. Then on top of that, there are a boatload of logistical hurdles to overcome as well. It's not as simple as like, boom, I have money. All of a sudden it's fine. Now, ooh, Weeby, thank you for the, thank you for the beautiful article from Bloomberg Wealth. Elon Musk, the world's richest man, challenged a United Nations official claim that a small percentage of his wealth could help solve world hunger. Musk was responded to comments by David Beasley, director of the UN's World Food Program. You know, I'm just saying, look, I'm not the biggest fan of the UN, okay? Uh, and I think that a lot of these NGOs, uh, they do a, a decent amount of work. They do really good work. Um, or even these, these international programs, they do good work. It's necessary. But ultimately, they are sometimes shady. And uh, in, in other circumstances, they could just straight up be like the Clinton Foundation, right? Which is like the peak of, of uh, horrible uh, business practices. But having said that, if I am a billionaire, the richest billionaire on the planet, I probably wouldn't be like an evil villain posting on the timeline being like, I'm going to own the guy who runs the world food program. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? Are you just like... Are you literally just a villain? Like, he already has, like, the South African classic, at this point, cliche, uh, villain accent. You know what I mean? He's like, yes, uh, I will, I will destroy, I will destroy the UN World, F World Food Program. That's right. I will destroy it. Ch millions of children around the world will go hungry. <laughs> because you dare defy me? You try to ratio me? Elon Musk? Mm. That's right. You will no longer exist. I, it's not a South African accent. I can't even do it. He's just trying to debate for no reason. He's an annoying right debate lord. Yeah. You are bullying the most successful African American. True. Um. Worked at a place that danced around saying we couldn't give away food waste because homeless people may sue the company for allergies. They were owned by Tesco's huge UK supermarket. Yeah, no, it's bullshit. Most was responding to the comments by David Beasley. Beasley specifically called for action from Musk and Amazon.com Inc. co-founder Jeff Bezos, two men atop the Bill Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Just six billion could keep 42 million from dying, Beasley said. If the World Food Program using transparent and open accounting can describe this Twitter thread exactly how six billion will solve world hunger, I will sell Tesla stock right now and do it, Musk wrote in a Twitter post. Honestly, if I was the World Food Program, I would take this up. Because, like, no matter what happens in this situation, like, Elon Musk is going to, he's going to cuck out of this. He's 100% going to be like, well, uh, I looked through the numbers and um, 
it's actually not uh, cost efficient. You know what I mean? But like, but like this back and forth is exactly the type of shit that like redditors love. They're probably like, Elon. Oh God, he's owning the world food program. He's so based. Epic chunk is Keanu Reeves. Like, you know what I mean? And it's like, and, and not a single person will like take a step back and be like, wait a minute. Even if it doesn't fully solve world hunger, why doesn't he do that then? Why doesn't he liquidate only 6 billion from his endless amount of seemingly endless amount of wealth? And like, actually, even if it solved 20% of famine around the world, is it not worth? Like, I don't get it. And for those who say something along the lines of like, uh, oh, why don't you do it, dude? Hasanabi, Twitch streamer, why don't you do it? It's like, dude, one, I already do, okay? And many others do as well. And you do as well. You probably play your part in this, in this situation. But like, we're talking about a single person that is capable of like moving the needle that much. Okay. Any sort of comparisons between Elon Musk and someone like myself or someone like any, anyone, even someone with a hundred million dollars is so idiotic. I do not know where to begin that conversation. We have already lost. Elon Musk is already winning. The moment that dudes who make 30 grand a year are yelling at uh, dudes who make more than that. Okay. But nowhere near to the degree, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Uh, of like a Elon Musk or Jeff Bezos, 10 people, the top 10 not 10%, the 10 wealthiest individuals in America, if if their like effective tax rate was increased to like, you know, like a mid-level manager with a good an accountant, if it was increased to like 20% uh, in, in like uh, unrealized assets being taxed as well. So ultimately like the amount of money they make that year would be uh, taxable somehow. They would be able to fund single-handedly between the 10 top people. They were able to fund 10% of our entire budget for the Build Back Better program. Like $350 billion over the course of the next 10 years, if they make more than a billion dollars in like new wealth over the course of those 10 years, or if they make a hundred million dollars a year on top of that. That is a completely insane, insane level of unrealized gains are real money, Pepega, says Sugundis Knuts. Yeah, you're right, dude, totally. It's not, it's fake money. Elon Musk actually, <laughs> That's why Jeff Bezos makes $80,000 a year. How do I sit here and criticize Jeff Bezos who literally makes less money than me? It's so silly, I know. Anyway, Musk is the CEO of the electric vehicle company. I love that. Which last week joined the handful of companies valued at more than $1 trillion. The 6 billion amount would be just a small fraction of Musk's current net worth of 311 billion and less than the 9.3 billion his wealth increased on October 29th alone, according to Bloomberg's wealth index. Okay. How to speak with a South African accent? Just to their voice. Important. Important break away from the actual news for a brief moment. Hold on. What the f South African accent? I think and in right, sign and live. Okay, that sucks. But it must be open source accounting so the public sees precisely how the money is spent. Tesla forms the vast majority of Musk's net worth. He's very rarely sold stock in a vehicle maker whose shares reached a record $1,114 on Friday. His fortune has also surged thanks to his stake in SpaceX, a private space exploration company that was valued at about $100 billion last month. I wonder, I wonder how SpaceX gets funded. Do we know? Does anyone know how SpaceX gets funded? Hmm. Hmm. Like, how much in government subsidies do they get? I mean, the damn near entirety of their work relies on NASA, publicly funded NASA research, obviously. But how much of, what is the, what is the percentage of subsidies? I would love to find that out. Anyway, I mean, only recently they had a government bid for $2.9 billion. So let's see, what is this? Los Angeles Times Thursday debate. Elon Musk uses subsidies at Tesla, SpaceX, and SolarCity. We don't even talk about SolarCity. So that's like, Covers three companies affiliated most. Solar City ranked 28th, and our top recipients, SpaceX and Tesla Motors, ranked 22nd. Times responded to CNBC according to the outlet reporting of the depth and breadth of the subsidies awarded to these companies, and that it was up to the public to decide whether the size and scope of the subsidization is right. We agree. Specifically, the editor pointed out Hirsch itemized it. Musk is correct about subsidies to oil and gas. That is true. Dude, Elon Musk, this is, I feel like Elon Musk was created in a lab to, uh, to, to benefit. Uh, the fossil fuel industry 
because he is so patently unlikable. And a big chunk of like the way that the American government works is by moving the needle of subsidization or in subsidies from one area to the other, right? And currently, uh, I, I don't know what this number has changed to, but in recent years, through all of my years of reporting, fossil fuel uh, companies get 80% of the energy subsidies that the government offers, right? 80%, that's an insane number. And obviously without those subsidies, none of these fossil fuel companies would be profitable or, you know, uh, there wouldn't be fossil fuel uh, extraction, okay, without the American government heavily subsidizing them, right? To the tunes of billions and billions of dollars a year. So a big part of our goal is, uh, as, as leftists, as progressives in America at least, is to move that needle over to the green energy side. Elon Musk, on the other hand, is like the greatest beneficiary of uh, these sorts of subsidies. But because of how annoying he is and because of how like overall corrupt and con man how much of a con man he is like every time that dial goes towards the green side i'm always like Fuck, man we're just giving elon musk money like we're just giving him more money ultimately it's better overall to invest in rnd uh in the green energy side and make green energy more profitable so you can have like new new ways of energy production that revolve around renewable energies but my lord, dude, it's just like, just I hate him so much. I feel like he's like an op. Headline not accurate. Six billion will not solve world hunger, but it will prevent geopolitical instability. Mass migration has saved 42 million on the brink of starvation. An unprecedented crisis and a perfect storm due to COVID conflict and climate crises. With your help, we can bring hope, build stability, and change the future. Let's talk. It isn't as complicated as Falcon Heavy, but too much at stake to not at least have a conversation. I can be on the next flight to you. Throw me out if you don't like what you hear. Please publish your current and proposed spending in detail so that people can see exactly where the money goes. Sunlight is a wonderful thing. Instead of tweets, allow me to show you. We can meet anywhere, earth or space. But I suggest in the field where you can see uh, the uh, the World Food Program's people, processes, and yes, technology at work. I will bring the plan and open books. I mean, this doesn't seem like a good effort. Uh, like, David Beasley is, is so cucked. I mean, if you're, if you're the executive director of the UN Food Program, you're used to sucking billionaire like on a regular basis, you're probably getting on your knees and polishing their boots nonstop. But like, even then Elon Musk is like, it doesn't matter if you're polishing my knob. Okay. It does not matter if you are directly cleaning the bottom of my boots with your tongue, giving me a tongue bathing. What I want is so much more than that. Um, what I want is just simply to agitate. Like it does not seem to be in good uh, faith. I don't know is well, and by the way, it's uh, wonderful because like, that's what debate lording is, right? Um, the debate lording is, oh, what happened here? There you go. That was what was going on. That was the, this is the real conversation. Find like, find some shit that the World Food Program has done, or rather look the other way on or some shit like that, which is by, which is the reason why I always say these guys in the UN, they're not good guys. Remember how I started off the conversation by saying these guys in the UN or the World Food Program or these sorts of NGOs that operate in like conflict zones, they're not good guys. <sighs> he wants to get humans to Mars and sees anything that would hinder that in the slightest is a massive roadblock and any questioning about it is a slight going to Mars would be cool, but he is, but he's too up his own ass about it. Um, most denies that you <laughs> So so as as uh as we were saying like this was not a productive conversation in any meaningful capacity notice how he shifts it over to uh he shifts it over to like look at this express article of something that happened under the watch of the world food program okay boom it's over that was all he was trying to do here and this is the thing that like um this is the thing that I absolutely despise about debate lords is that it's always, it's never about a productive conversation. So if you take someone who's like trying to do debate lording on the timeline seriously, and you engage them in good faith or as good faith as you possibly can and be like, yeah, I will show you everything. Please give me some money. Um, they will do everything in their power to turn around and still own you. How about starting your own organization and run it as well as your businesses? Perhaps this field needs competition for better results. You have an incredible opportunity to do something literally life-saving for millions. I hope this can be the start of something monumental says, Northman trader. No, he's not going to do that. He's not going to do that. Elon is a weeb for not doing the right thing and being a debate lord. What? Someone wrote an article that you're quitting. Just want to say I love you and your content. You get me through working at Amazon. Um, I'm not quitting. I said it. I was thinking about uh, quitting for a little bit. 
and uh and i'm back so dick Cerdo, once again shouts out to dick Cerdo for writing an article saying i'm quitting anyway um yeah so there you go dude headline not accurate it doesn't matter what happened here boom owned uh, if i look at the quote retweets right now i'm sure everyone's like dude he's murdering it dude god damn elon musk gives no fucks and i love it will you answer Oh shit, Elon's calling out the UN. The world is going to finally wake up to this, says Seashells in Sand, proud New York patriot. So once again, the UN and organizations like that oftentimes are doo-doo. They're not great. I'm watching his premier cannabis author and you and your streams have inspired me to start the unionization process. I contact the local 514 in New York and they're starting in San Fran too. Thank you from all of us for the inspiration to push for collective bargaining. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. Congratulations. I hope it's successful. My friend have been posting this on their IG and saying how much of a chat Elon is. Elon destroys the world food program <laughs> by posting an Expressco UK article. The investigation revealed that the French peacekeepers from the UN's children agency UNICEF failed to act on reports. Oh, oh man. Color me surprised, by the way. The, that the French peacekeepers from the UN's children's agency UNICEF Fail to act on, you know. That's wild. Um, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon expressed profound regret that these children were betrayed by the very people sent to protect them and said that he has accepted the panel's broad findings. No one has been arrested more than a year and a half after UN authorities were made aware of those allegations. Four French soldiers were questioned last week and released without charge. It almost took uh, a year for UN staff to respond to the allegations. Most charities was corrupt, neoliv, exploiting the poor, assaulting the most vulnerable, include unpaid workers, volunteers looking for work experience. So much abuse happens and they make you have to qualify for help from so many charities of postcode lotteries, eugenic, like I swear. Yeah, I, I have a lot of takes on, on charity under a capitalist organization of the economy. I think that it's like, unfortunately, uh, it, it's, it's, a, it's a necessary thing for the most part because of uh, the problems that people experience. But also simultaneously, it can be a way for people to, you know, uh, trade off uh, the their tax burdens uh, back to these 501c3s that operate in an exact same capacity to um, to the way that uh, some of the most corrupt institutions work under capitalism. So it's it's great. It's wonderful. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>